Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. Today I've got a pale ale for you and it's from Marston's and it is a bottle of their 61 Deep Pale Ale coming in at 4.1% ABV. Um, there is the bottle cap with the three barrels, this time in blue. Um, I picked this beer up in my local Aldi and it was 129 a bottle. 129 for a 500ml bottle, uh, it's a very fresh one, where was the date, the date was 30th of April 2019, so relatively, well, pretty bloody fresh, um, yeah, I've never seen this one before, this is the first time I've ever seen this one, the 61 Deep Pale Ale, I've seen their um, EPA, I've seen their IPA, um, I've seen one or two others from Marston's, um, but this is, um, yeah, they're obviously um, the pedigree, seen that one, the red one, this is the first one I've seen the 61 Deep Pale Ale, so I was quite interested when I spotted this one in my local Aldi. And for 129 a bottle, I thought, might as well have a go, won't we? So, um, yeah, 61 Deep Pale Ale, 61 metres, that's the depth of the well at the brewery uh, that gives this refreshing pale ale its name. The five American and Australian hops give it its fresh, zesty aroma, whilst the tropical fruit and citrus notes make it extremely drinkable. Dive in. Mastersbrewery.co.uk, blah blah blah. Uh, Masters, of course, own a lot of other breweries now, and it seems in recent years they've been so busy acquiring other breweries that their beers have kind of become sort of second fiddle to it. Um, they don't get massively great reviews these days, but um, you know, I thought I'd give this one a go for one twenty nine a bottle. We can't go wrong, can you? So let's get it into a glass. Let's see what we get. It's another really warm day here in South England, or South East point of England, just north of London. Let's get this into a glass. So yeah, because it's so warm, I thought a really nice cold pale ale would be right up my street right now. In she goes. Look at that. It's quite a decent looking pale ale there. Do that one there for you to see. The 61 deep pale ale. There it is. Got the massive levels of carbonation. Did have a head on it, which is already disappearing pretty sharpish. Very golden colour. Um, it looks like you're traditional golden ale to be honest with you not particularly pale in colour is it um, but it looks like a good uh, a good looking golden ale um, I say not masses of carbonation not loads of bubbles roaring up the glass it's quite uh, quite slow only a few bubbles going up this one but there you go let's get an aroma oh it's quite nice I'm getting a uh, Grapefruit, passion fruit, bit of mango, bit of malt, and getting a bit of hops. That is a lovely aroma. Okay, <laughs> let's just get it again. Oh, that's nice. That is really nice. Lots of tropical fruit, nice malty nose to it, and hops as well. All in, all in an aroma. Let's get a taste. Cheers, guys. That's not bad at all. The nose is almost exactly the same as the taste. Um, you're getting that tropical fruit straight away. Loads of grapefruit in particular. It almost um, it almost tastes like an IPA. Almost drinks like an IPA. You get that. You're certainly getting the tropical fruit on arrival. You're getting that grapefruit, you're getting a little bit of mango, a little bit of passion fruit on the taste. Only subtle with the mash, the uh, the mashing, 
the mango and the passion fruit, but certainly lots of grapefruit. And you're getting a nice kind of um, biscuity malt, sort of mid palate. And then there's a nice hoppy bitter finish to it as well. I'm really enjoying this. I'll tell you what this reminds me of. I reviewed um, Robinson's and Iron Maiden's latest collaboration, which was The Light Brigade. And I reviewed that really highly. I thought it was a really complex, really flavoursome pale ale. This is exactly the same. Um, it it tastes like an IPA. It drinks like an IPA, but with a bit of malt in the middle. So if anything, it's even more complex than a lot of IPAs I've been drinking lately. Don't get me wrong, it's not got a crazy amount of fruit, but it's got a lovely nose. Lots of grapefruit, subtle uh, mango, subtle passion fruit, maybe a little bit of pineapple in there as well. Um, but you're getting that with the flavour as well, you're getting the grapefruit, you're getting that little bit of mango, a little bit of passion fruit. It's got a nice fruity tropical taste to it in, in the beginning, the further it first hits your tongue. And then you're getting a nice bit of biscuity malt, kind of nice, nice sweetness to it, nice biscuity sweet malt to it and then the hops come in it doesn't specify what hop, what hops were used unfortunately but it does say that there's uh five american and australian hops have been used um it just says contains barley malt doesn't go much into the ingredients but there's a really good use of hops in this beer um this is only a 4.1 percent excuse me abv pale ale so you could do a few of these I'm really impressed with this. Really, really impressed with this. 61 deep by Marston's Pale Ale. Why have I never seen this one before? 129 a bottle. 500 mil bottle. 129. Aldi. Get down there, folks. Get a load of this. This is this is wonderful stuff for that money. 129. It's really complex. It's really refreshing. It's really well made. There's a lovely balance to it. I've not got a bad word to say about this at all. And it's 4.1%, so you could drink a load of them. Um, this is a really decent pale ale for Masters. Really, really decent. And the fact that Aldi, who are all over the place now, let's have it right, you can get this for 129 a bottle. Um, you'd be foolish not to, wouldn't you? Um, go out, give it a go. I'm going to give this a score. And I'm going to base on everything. The fact that it's a lovely complex flavour. It's a really drinkable pale ale. It was really cheap. Um, it's really well made. It's a really well balanced pale ale at a really good price. Mm. Tropical fruit. Nice bit of malt. And a nice subtle bitterness from the hops at the back end. It's really good. It's really, really good. Um, sod it, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 9 out of 10, all things considered that's spot on, really good beer 61 deep pale ale from Marston's 129 in Aldi go out, see if you can find it in your local one 9 out of 10, great score great beer, really enjoyed that um, leave your comments below give it a thumbs up, thank you for watching have you, have you drunk this one before, what did you think of it? Um, let me know, I'd be interested because I'd never heard of it until I spotted it in my local shop and I picked up a few. Um, and I'm really glad I did. Yeah, leave leave your comments below. Let me know. Let me know if you've had this one. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one, guys. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this. Thanks very much. See you on the next one.